Hey guys, B2 here, checking in with Townie again on the Pizza Gamer server. If you want to follow me on Twitter, in the top left corner, hit me up at the B2. If you want to subscribe here on the channel, hit that subscribe button and look for Minecraft updates, Clicker Hero updates, as well as Summoner's War updates. All right, so uh, I'm new to the server, B2. How do I get to... Um, how do I get to... So you're going to hit the spawn. And you're going to come in right here at spawn, right? Bam! It's going to say, welcome to Townie. Move forward. It says start your ranking journey by using the rank up command to become a peasant. Very easy. Uh, rank up is the command. I'm not going to do that. But if you want to look at the ranks here, um, peasant is free. It allows you to get a random teleport and use the TPA command. Commoner is 250 bucks. 250 tacos, 250 clams, however you want to say it. Wouldn't it be nice to teleport back home? It's going to give you the set home command. And on and on. So if Traveler is another set home. Merchant, you can do a sign shop. Uh, at Citizen, you can start your town. And Militia, you can uh, get a crafting thing. So like if you're going to do slash craft, bang, a crafting window pops up. You don't need to make a, uh, a crafting table every 10 minutes when you're in a mine or when you're out gathering supplies or whatever you want to do, right? So, so if I was going to make money the quickest way, B2, how would that be? And simply, it is to vote. Slash vote, it's going to pop you up five voting sites. And that's going to give you anything from uh, diamonds. Well, it's going to give you diamonds and coins. Um, and it's probably going to push you through the first two to three ranks just by voting one time. So why is there a voting feature and why is that important? And it's for two reasons. It helps our newer players get started. And two, for the veteran players, it gives us a server ranking on those five sites. And when new players go to these sites to look up townie servers, uh, the higher we are on the page, the higher... Um, the, the higher the chances they're going to actually come to our server, right? So, awesome. Actually, this guy, uh, Thief Power 3 with the EIF. I like that. Uh, a little unique on a misspell there. Um, so, anyway, the voting would be the next thing I would do, and I would rank up from the voting. And as you come back through here, so we're going to look for other stuff. Um, you can, if you wanted to enchant something, you can come to the enchanting tables, stick in your lapis, stick in the item, and you can enchant it, right? So if I wanted to put in two items here and throw the hoe up there, I could do the enchant. Um, but uh, I don't have a, quite enough items. Um, there's a beacon over here, a beacon shop. So if you want a beacon for your town, pretty inexpensive. It's uh, 2500 to buy the beacon. Um, and then over here, just anvils to repair stuff. So it's simple. You would throw in the... The item you wanted to repair up there, and then a diamond. Actually, it's too expensive to repair, but uh, but you get the you get the gist of it. Um, so phase two, like I've I've gotten my voting money, and now I'm a couple ranks higher. But you know what? I can only vote once a day. I'm not going to get any more diamonds. I'm not going to get any more cash. Uh, and that's where the the cool feature of the jobs come in. So if I do slash jobs browse. It's going to pop up the menu for the jobs. Uh, and you can go woodcutter here, so it's pretty simple. Uh, breaking wood is going to give you experience and money all the way through for a woodcutter. And what's really cool is when you would use the tree feller, which is the right click while you're holding the axe, it's going to knock trees down. And that thing lasts eight, nine seconds. Once you get a few levels on it, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you can spin through a lot of cash. Uh, miners. Builders, so like if you want to place blocks, you can do granite, diorite, and a site. You get 65 cents each time you press a, or place a block of those. Um, if you want to do bookshelves, you get 75. And, you know, this is the starting point for builders. So uh, you can definitely make more and more money as a builder the further you go up. And that's the same with any job. Uh, now, the one different thing about our jobs is we've added a custom job for a cook, which is pretty cool because you get to cook for experience or craft stews and soups and carrots and cakes, uh, golden carrots, uh, and all of those have payouts. So uh, while you're doing your hunting, you can actually pop down a furnace and get paid for cooking too. So pretty cool uh, overall for the server here. Um, and then about once a week or every two weeks, uh, we go through and we see... Um, which ones are the highest populated? So mining is always, you know, seems to be the number one, and I would I would expect so. It's called Minecraft, right? It's not called Buildcraft, or probably have builders in the number one spot. But what we try to do is we try to even this out. And so what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll raise um, hunters up and make them a little bit more um, profitable to to go through, and so more players swap around. Uh, why is that important? It's very, very important for uh, towns that need multiple roles filled because you can only have two jobs 
and then um, you know you have to leave a job come back to a job that sort of stuff so um, as we're looking around here at spawn I will um, go ahead and take you out here and show you a couple of things to get started so uh, so you've come through you've hit your votes you've selected your jobs um, you can come over here to the resource world and click right click on this sign and it's going to take you through a portal and this is a resource world where you can uh, gather resources so you can do anything in here you can trash this place like you can see where we've chipped away all the dirt from that hill over there and it's down to just rocks uh, we made a mine in here and uh, and yesterday like we during happy hour which is 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time you uh, we came in here and, and you get double XP and double money so we came down here and started clearing stuff out and hey look at this what, what shot me oh juke Juke, get some, son. He's shooting it. Oh, you want you want a piece too? I gave you some action. You want some trouble? Oh, come on. Who says that 110 PVP isn't doesn't work? I'm gonna get me a zombie creeping too. Look at that. Oh, you want some, boy? Oh, two hit you. All right, now I'm full of gear from yesterday, but I do want to grab the slime balls. Uh, there we go. Boop. And the heads, of course. Always cool to get the heads. So uh, so as we come down here, you can see yesterday where we just absolutely destroyed this, uh, this underground here. But again, it's the resource world. So once it gets actually just completely fragged and, and needing to have a reset, we can just reset the world here. It's just a resource world. All right, so back to spawn here. And I wanted to show you something else about spawn real quick. Well, we had a second. I'm going to go ahead and put myself in fly mode. But... Uh, so this is the mystery box right here and when you right click it see it has a vault in here of different items so let me just go ahead and give myself one of these and then boom I can right click it really kind of a cool little thing here the mystery box is gonna fall down and you get one of ten items we'll see BAM oh the jackhammer I assume my inventory is full so I didn't get it which is another thing but yeah, see, but no big deal. I had the jackhammer already. Just wanted to show you guys the new addition to the mystery boxes. And so those are $2 a piece on the website. It's kind of one of the very few things that we sell, uh, but it goes towards supporting the server. So also for a new player, if you hop over here and come down to the docks, you will see some server shops here, which is really, really cool. Um, not a lot of servers do this sort of shop setup. Um, I've seen a few, but not many. But if you look down here, you can cook all your meat from hunting and sell it here for money. And that is the second way a new player can actually get an income. So if you have like a bunch of grass and dirt and cobblestone and stuff that you want to sell, here is your place to do it right here. So the creepy server guy talking to me. There we go. Um, but you can look through here on uh, the wood shop here. Uh, you can come in here and use your tree feller and get into wood cutting, and then bang, you got another thing here. Uh, so if you look, resources, redstone, we always seem to have too much redstone. You can right click it and sell it, and it shows you the new server amount. Signs locked by Zach, the guy who designed all this, as we don't want people manipulating the signs or pulling items out of them, right? Right. <laughs> Hello, YouTubers. Carry on. That's Foose in the background, by the way. Uh, and then if you're a crafter or, or – um, well, I forget what the job name is for that. Let's check that out. Browse. Um, the weaponsmith here, if you're looking to make armor and boots and stuff, you can actually sell them here if you'd like to, and that would make some money as well. So not only can you get paid for making it, but you can get paid for selling it. You can sell leather, um, and then there's some other items that we're still adding to the, adding to the store. And these guys actually sell things, the the uh, NPCs in town here, the villagers. So I think that's a pretty good uh, a pretty good overview. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to port over to our town. And I'm going to show you what it would look like to use Tree Feller um, for the job here, right? So um, we've got a little farming area set up right here. Bunch of creepers. Um, let's, let's go... Um, uh, time zero. How do we do this? Time day. There's nobody else on the server, and so for filming, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and knock this out. So, um, 
this out of my offhand. So this is kind of cool, right? So now I have my axe done. I'm on the, uh, you can do job slash job stats, and it's going to show you all your jobs. Now I've got them all because we do a lot of testing on the server. Uh, but you can only use one job at a time, so it's not like I'm, I'm making uh, a ton, if unless I'm cooking something. But uh, but here we go. So the tree feller, you're going to right click, and it's going to, um, you can see how woodcutter is going up because I haven't done any woodcutting. But uh, you can see how long this tree feller is lasting, man. We're going along here, and it's still lasting because my MCMMO skill is jacked all the way up. So we can go through here. Oh, and it wore off. So you can see all the different levels that we gained on here. And if I was going to collect all the wood, come on, zombie. Get off, my boy. This baby zombie's tearing me up. Oh, creeper! Man, all I wanted to do was make some wood. So, there you go. And I'm going to leave all Zach's trees felled. Uh, I probably shouldn't. Let me go and collect some of these saplings and replant for them. Unless, I don't want him to have a meltdown later. But you can see how profitable that was, right? So, I wasn't a woodcutter at all. But my woodcutting was 158 when I started. I cut one tree down and made five levels of woodcutter. Uh, and then came all the way through. So in one swipe, I made 10 levels in woodcutter with one one tree feller, which can do um, – let me see. You can do that every few minutes, basically, is run through and do your woodcutting. And that's the same with any of the MCMO skills, whether it's jackhammer. Now, see where the creeper came over and blew up? We have it set up to redo everything 20 seconds afterwards. So you can see it's rebuilding – one plot at a time as it's coming through. And it'll actually do it with a chest. It'll put the chest back, but it will not do the items inside. So if you do creeper blow somebody up or whatever, uh, it's not going to work quite right. So, all right. So, got our collection on. We're going to put it in our hand. And then uh, you want to do four with the dark oaks. That's the only way you're going to get the big trees like that. And uh, you're going to want to maximize them out for certain if you're going to farm them. So this is pretty much uh, the tree feller and uh, wood cutting on there. And we'll get these last couple out. And then I'll explain a little bit more about jobs just so we're all clear. All right. We'll put one over here. Yep, and the tree feller refreshed. So I can already go back and run the next tree feller and make some more levels. So you can see how quick. Oh, there we go. And we go over here and run. I got more time. Oh, another zombie, another skeleton. So we're just going to run around and hit these last couple trees and raise us up a little bit more. There you go. And tree feller has worn off again. So let's see what we got here. We ended up going up uh, five more levels, and we made two more levels in wood cutting, um, and then of course the money that goes along with that. So, so not bad. So anyway, that is the jobs and specifically wood cutting for this week. Uh, let's look at the the tops here. So MC, let's get to a safe place though. Uh, we'll do spawn. So MC top is Zylera at 2792. She is absolutely on fire with the server. But we got some new guys creeping in this week. Uh, we ended up with uh, Deathcon making in the top 10. Foos actually made the top 10. And Parodic Fox, a.k.a. Big T Gamer in the house. Um, so let's take, uh, let's say MC Top Woodcutter. And we'll take a look at that. Or MC... MC Rank wood cutting MC top mining yeah so there's mining oh look at Zai she's four levels ahead of me we're all tight there though and we do mine at night a lot uh, together so uh, I'm not surprised there but I should after this video I'm gonna hop in and make level 578 just so I'm in the top MC top wood cut ting there we go. Zai's at 340 on that. Zach 252. Deathcon 195. Look at that. And Nico. Nico down at 45. He, I know he hopped on the server for a day or two, uh, and hopefully he'll be back. So let's look at the um, let's look at the ranks. MC ranks for me. MC rank. There we go. So I need to work archery, axes, taming, and woodcutting. Um, 
uh, because I'm number one in excavation and I'm number one in swords. No surprise there. I go out and hunt and I uh, do a lot of digging, uh, specifically for glowstone, uh, because I don't like using torches. So, um, and so let's say MC top swords, and then I'm at 159 Malik, 140 Zai, 136. Um, Zach 123 so you can see basically how we're gonna uh, how the competition is shaping up and there's Nova Nova Terra sneaking in there and Renard FEU I like it I like it so anyway if you have any questions about job just hit me up in the description down below or in the comments uh, don't forget to hit that sub button and we will see you on the server IPS pizza gamers come on